hi so in this section uh, what we will do is we will be securing a sample application and take some necessary step according to that so you just sign out of the previous section what I have shown in the previous section just sign out you can keep this close now and what we need to do is we have to download the wild fly so just download click on the download zip and it will allow you to get I have already downloaded this so I will cancel for you you can just start this download okay now that you have an admin account a realm and a user you can use the key clock to secure a sample wildfly servlets so that's why wildfly is an application server we will be taking this wildfly server and we will install a sample servlet which has been given by the wildfly and secure that application first we will run that application and we will see how we can secure that application so whenever you want to log in through that application it will go through the key clock and how we are transporting that authentication module or decoupling the authentication module from the application is what we are going to see here okay so for that the first thing you need to do is you need to install the wildfly and then the wildfly client adapter so we will see that but let me go to the folder and what we will do is we will take the wildfly will extract these files over here okay so for me I am keeping it in C key clock so you can also extract according to your location just remember that location that is good enough okay so once that is installed you need to go to the site again in the download section so keyclock.org downloads in this download section you have to take a wildfly connector or I will say the adapter you have to take you need to install this adapter register the application in the admin console modify the wildfly instance to work with key clock is the objective and use key clock with the sample code to secure the application we will have some sample code I will show you that and then you will be able to log in okay so what you need to do is you have to again click on this zip download this because we are working with the wildfly if you are working with jboss fuse or if you are working with node.js or tomcat these all you need to download accordingly to your particular application server or your web server or your javascript and modify that through the client adapters okay so there are two kinds of uh, things available which you can see one is the sample one is the open id connect so we are taking the open id connect zip so i have already installed that and i will just after installing i mean after getting or downloading that what you need to do is you have to just extract those files over here again so extract it once that is extracted you can just delete this to this is not required for me anymore so i will delete it okay so now i have the wildfly adapter the wildfly final thing okay now you remember uh, previous to the last lesson i was telling we need to adjust the port which is used by key clock so at the moment key clock we have seen if you are going to localhost and putting 8080 your key clock is running on port 8080 now if you want to run wildfly and directly go here and go to the pin folder of wildfly you will again get a standalone okay and if you run that i will show you that if you run this it will also try to occupy the port 8080 this is the port 
so what will happen it will be a conflict between while fly and key clock so what we need to do here is we need to change the port of while fly or the key clock so in this example we will be changing the port for key clock okay so there is no conflicts and we can run both these applications in different server okay so for that we have already unzipped that file and what we need to do now is we have to see whether our key clock server is running we have seen that the key clock server is running and we need to close this because we are now going to modify this port okay so to modify this is also no more required so this is good enough let me keep the downloads in case we need to use anything from there we will see now what we will do is we will go to the bin folder of the key clock server so where is the key clock so we will go to key clock we'll go here we'll go to the pin folder of key clock and i want to apply now if you are in linux windows or powershell the commands will be little bit changed but let me put a command over here so what i am doing is i have made sure my key clock server is up and running and i am playing with this too okay so on top of the key clock server running i am now going to type certain commands to change the port so what is the uh, command first of all you know if you type here dir you know directory if you are typing you will be able to see that there is a standalone dot bat here you can see right so this is standalone dot bat so i am just putting that standalone dot bat after that you give a hyphen then d j boss dot socket okay dot binding your binding right so binding dot port hyphen offset so you can get uh, some commands in wildfly as well as in key clock for changing the port number now in case you are in uh, linux you have to give a dot sh the rest of the things remains almost same so what you will be doing dj boss dot socket dot binding port offset equal to 100 what you are going to in powershell what you will do you will be again taking uh, standalone dot bat and uh, here instead of a dj boss you can give a double quotes the other things stays inside the double quotes okay so that is the only change uh, if you are typing in other so let us not discuss that let us now concentrate here put an enter over here so what it is going to do is is going to change your port number on which your key clock server is running so that is what it is happening over here so once that is changed i will tell you some other things to do so let's see let's wait for a second i think it is changed now now once this is changed how will you confirm that the key clock server is running in offset 100 when i say offset 100 it will be 8180 port in which it will be uh, running so let me check whether the change has happened really or not so what i will do is i will go here i will say 8180 auth i want to go to the admin section again let me see what happens so now you can see that 8080 has successfully changed to 8180 the key clock is successfully running on 8180 so you may want to log into it and just have a quick check whether it is correctly running 
so in my case it was administrator and I will put the admin password and go inside the key clock to check whether everything is fine or not so you can do that just a double checking so the key clock server is there I have a demo realm running so this is my target which is under the master realm so fantastic we are good now let us progress to the next step now what is the next step Be now you can go to the key clock section and remember we have taken this adapter what you do is inside this wildfly adapter you copy the whole thing you do a control C which means a copy I will show you like this so copy this and now come to the wildfly inside the wildfly if you go to the bin folder you will be seeing there are two things over here just remember this okay and there will be some additional thing the adapter will be putting inside this for you to understand what is getting added I am just showing this and remember if you are adding it to an existing wildfly make sure you are taking a backup of your standalone.bat standalone is where you define all your configurations so don't forget to take a backup if you are doing on an existing if you are doing on the fresh one it's fine now what I am doing is I have just taken everything from here isn't it and I am going to wildfly wildfly and I am going to paste everything on the home of wildfly folder so control V or paste it so everything is now pasted now last time when I was showing you I have told you to watch this particular section so nothing has been added here but if you remember last time the adapter was not there so we can see an adapter has been added over here so electron adapter adapter is something which we will be not using we will be avoiding this and at least in this particular uh, configuration but let us now move so we have seen there has been something added to the configuration of the domains as well as to the modules okay to this particular section so let us not go in deep of that now what we will do is we will move to the next step let us move to the next section and start the wildfly server okay 